time now for Futures in Focus. Joining us from the CME is Scott Geekis from Walsh Trading. And of course, we'll start with the latest Iran tensions and oil prices, which are rising. There are many factors at play here, Scott. How much is Iran factoring into the increase in WTI prices? Uh, Iran is going to be a very big focus moving forward. So uh, just with everything, all the bullish headlines are coming across just this week. So we had a, a drop in stocks for U.S. <clears throat> that added a little bit of bullish tensions uh, as well uh, to the upside. Then you had, you're throwing Iran into the mix with the, the drone being shot down. You know, if anything happens with the Strait of Hermas, then it's going to dramatically affect the world supplies, you know, pretty much immediately. So if there's any type of shutdown, any type of attack near that strait, you know, that's going to have a detrimental impact on supplies. And we expect those prices to continue being uh, pushed a little bit higher. Now, that's also confirmed just by the regular bit of option flow in the August options. The option positions are all the way building all the way out to the $70 calls, whether that's protection or speculation. But either way, it's notable that the $70 strike is starting to build, and that's pretty far away. So with the August options right now, they're pricing in roughly about a 5% move between now and the end of August. So that's pretty significant based on a percentage basis. I mean, it's about eight and a half to almost close to a 10% move between now and August. That's pretty significant. Absolutely. So the option volatility is definitely heightened. And that's what everyone here is focusing on. So, Scott, are you looking at any other asset classes as they relate to oil in terms of prices, or is this purely a geopolitical and supply-demand trade at the moment? OPEC Plus, of course, trying to figure out where they're going to meet next as well. Right, and then there, there's the other factor. So we have the sanctions that are going to be uh, pretty much, they're going to be done by the end of June. And then we have the OPEC meeting uh, July 1st and 2nd. So whatever comes out of that July meeting is also going to be a very big factor. But all those big factors are going to be offset by any type of military action in Iran. So that military action we're going to see. But as we've seen just over the last 24 hours, you know, the U.S. president is saying, well, an attack is going to be intimate. Then he authorized the attack. Then he pulled back from it. So there's a lot of things that are moving back and forth. No one really knows what's going on. And as for the pretty much all year, especially relating to all the commodity prices as well as oil, everything is going to be doing to headline risk. So Absolutely. all everybody I know is they have their finger on the button and they're just waiting for the next headline to break. Right. So are you taking positions down there, Scott, or are you all just holding your breaths and, and waiting for the next headline to do something? Uh, honestly, going into a weekend with all this tension, it, it's very unlikely that you're going to see any new positions start to build unless if they have that protection with the options. Yeah. So with the big move up, one could say that they're looking for a bit of a pullback or profit taking. And that's why you could be seeing some of those upside calls being bought as protection. 